Is this video claiming to show a boxer spinning a bottle in the air for real? Or is this little party trick just too slick to be true? I've got the answer to that baffling bottle mystery, plus the answers to a whole bunch of other crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in. But hey, before we get into the show today, I just want to take a couple of secs to tell you about a new mobile game called Snake on a String which just happens to be sponsoring this video today. They're giving away a $100 Amazon gift card plus a whole bunch of free level packs, so listen up. Snake on a String is the ultimate game for Android. It's an explosive, quirky, modern take on the classic Snake game with over 200 fun and challenging levels. It's got lots of different snakes to choose from, and what I like is the fun ways to control your snake, like pulling it around as if it's on a leash or a string. So cool. What you do is finish each level as fast as you can to earn stars and unlock new characters and levels. Created by two brothers, Christopher and Jonathan, who just founded their own tiny indie game studio called Dunderbit, this is something everyone should have on their phone or tablet. It's currently only available on the Android platform, but if you click on the link down here in the old description box, it'll take you directly to the Google Play Store where you can download your own very free copy. Now, if you want to win that $100 Amazon gift card or any of the other prizes, just follow the instructions in the description box and then click on that link there. Okay? Okay. Now, about all those crazy photos and videos that you guys have been sending in to me recently, we have this picture claiming to show a giant snake slithering along a riverbank, a photo that claims to show a shark stranded in a mud puddle miles away from the ocean, a photo claiming to show the world's smallest baby, and that doesn't even include our big story this week, which is about a video that claims megalodons could possibly be alive in the deepest part of the world's oceans, the Mariana Trench. Is there any way this could be real? Hey guys, Bill here. You know, for a long time now, I've been asking you guys to send in evidence that will change my mind about the existence of megalodons. Now, as far as I'm concerned, they've been extinct for millions of years. But hey, with only 5% of the ocean actually being explored, anything's possible, right? So I'm always open to being proven wrong. So far, we've seen some evidence that is so fake it's funny, some evidence that turns out to be BFF or Big Fat Fakes, and lots of pranks that are only good for a laugh. But this new video you guys have been sending in looks rather intriguing. The video we're going to be examining today is titled, Who Lives at the Bottom of the Mariana Trench? It was sent in by Jake Rides, Captain Egg, and Hayseed Bushcraft, just to name a few. And what everybody wants to know is, is this video for real or just another BFF? Well, guys, I think we better take a closer look at this one. The video was posted in April of 2017 by a popular YouTuber named Riddle with three Ds. The video is over nine minutes long and covers a bunch of topics, but has one section about a possible Megalodon sighting. Starting at around the four minute mark in the video, Riddle claims that in 1985, the crew aboard the American ship Glomar Challenger lowered an ocean probe called the Hedgehog into the depths of the Mariana Trench. Suddenly, the computer began recording the strangest sounds. The cables holding the probe stretched and stretched and stretched almost to the breaking. The researchers rushed to bring the device back to the surface to find out the reason for these strange happenings. They attempted to reel it in, but the hedgehog wouldn't budge. After three hours of fighting, according to Riddle, they were finally able to retrieve the probe. That's when they discovered it looked like it had been in the jaws of an underwater monster. There were bite marks on the plating of the probe and the steel cables used to hoist it up and down, some of those had been torn off. The official version of the incident was that the platform got stuck on a rock, which is what caused the damage. But the crew knew that there was something huge and enormously powerful there at a depth of 11 kilometers. 
Riddle's story then goes on to suggest that independent biologists later came to their own conclusion that the damage to the hedgehog was actually caused by none other than a megalodon. This huge prehistoric shark, which weighed 50 tons and was 22 meters in length, is a long extinct ancestor of modern sharks. But if the report is correct, then Megalodon did not depart this world after all, but found shelter in the depths of the Mariana Trench. Wow, now that's what I call a claim. A nine meter probe at the bottom of the Mariana Trench nearly bitten in half by a Megalodon. But could it possibly be real? With a claim this astounding, I turn to the best fact-checking squad I know, you guys. I posted the portion of the clip dealing with the Megalodon to my Facebook page to see if anyone could help me get to the bottom of this mystery. Although I did get lots of responses and many of the comments were intriguing, I didn't quite find the smoking gun I was looking for. Lots of people said they thought it was real, but nobody sent in any hard facts about this Glomar Challenger expedition or what exactly happened on board that day. I thought I was about to hit a dead end on this one, but then I came across this webpage for the International Ocean Discovery Program, and thanks to that little discovery, I now have this, the official answer. But if you watch this show, you know not even a megalodon sitting on my head can get me to reveal what's in here before you tell me what you're thinking right up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake. Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer down there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. A third way to go is just to vote right up here. You ready? And go. Okay, did you vote? Good, because in just a few seconds, we're gonna be opening up the old envelope right here to reveal the official answer. But before we do that, I just wanna go over a couple other crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in recently. First up is this photo claiming to show a giant snake slithering along a riverbank in the Amazon. It was posted to my Facebook page by RSV Gaming, who wrote, Bill, please tell me this is fake. Well, RSV Gaming, here at Bill's channel, we aim to please, and I am happy to grant your wish, because that photo is... How did you vote? Real fake? Real fake? Fake! Thanks to some quick work by our resident snake expert, Shelby Leon, here's the original picture of the snake before it was photoshopped onto the beach. According to Shelby, what we're looking at is an eastern brown snake, which only grows up to 5.9 feet, or just under two meters. It only exists in Australia and areas of New Guinea, not the Amazon. It's considered the second most venomous land snake in the world, so beware. Next up is this photo of what looks like the aftermath of a real-life shark NATO. Blake Lobel 15 sent this in and asked, hey Bill, is this real or not? Well, Blake, it would seem rather odd that a shark would get caught this far up river without a paddle, but guess what? This picture is real. Facebook readers Isaac Sisson, Mika Zhu, Kev Teo, and many others pointed out this bull shark washed ashore in Australia after Cyclone Debbie passed through the area in March of 2017. It's believed the shark ventured just a little too far upstream, then got caught in the flood torrent and ended up beached when the waters receded. Our final photo is this unbelievable picture of what looks like the smallest baby in the world. It was sent in by Tally Ho who said, this one has me quite bamboozled. Could this really be the world's smallest baby? Well, Tally Ho, Fabulous Facebook fact checker Marinus Kramer was the first one to come up with the answer to this one. And the answer is a big, well, no, actually, in this case, a teeny tiny little, can you hear me say? Fake. The baby is a polymer clay and resin figurine created by artist Camille Allen from Canada. On her website, Camille explains she wants her sculptures to remind us how sweet newborn babies really are. 
Okay, now that we got all that squared out of the way, what do you say we get back to the big question of the day? And that is, is there really a Megalodon or Megalodons living at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? I mean, to me, I mean, it's like, come on guys. I mean, a shark living like 30,000 feet below the surface. I mean, I'm no expert, but aren't sharks kind of like cold-blooded and every once in a while they need to like come up near the surface where it's warm to get a little but what do i know let's listen to the experts here. okay you ready i'm ready to be proved wrong and i could be proved wrong today because anything's possible and if it is true i mean we're going to be on the front of the new york times for sure anyway here we go the video claiming to show proof of a real live megalodon living at the bottom of the Mariana Trench has been carefully examined by the entire Bill's Channel fact-checking team. I mean, everybody got together on this one because everybody wanted to be in on it. Based on a careful analysis of all the evidence at our disposal, we have reached a decision. And the decision is... Are you ready to join me on the front page of the New York Times with this wild and crazy discovery? Yes, you are, because the answer is fake. Uh, why am I not surprised? I mean, come on, people, think, think. You know how big that shark is? If it's living 36,000 feet underneath the water, what the heck is it gonna eat down there other than some little jellyfish rolling around with like, you know, light bulbs on their head? I mean. Doesn't make sense to me, but it's just me. But hey, listen, if you're thinking about clicking away right now, I wouldn't do that because I still got to give you the answer to that crazy boxer spinning the bottle with his fist and the intriguing facts of how we proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that old Mr. Riddle is selling us a little bit of piddle is too good to pass up. Listen to this. The first and most obvious tip off that Riddle's Megalodon story is a fake is really simple. The Glomar Challenger was a real ship, but it was decommissioned in 1983, two years before Riddle's claim that it all happened in 1985. In other words, the Glomar Challenger was scrapped and destroyed long before Mr. Riddle's story takes place. So therefore, there was no ship to lower a probe into the ocean and be bitten by a megalodon. No way could not have happened in this universe or any other universe that I know of. And another thing, did anyone notice how in this video Riddle claims that scientists had discovered a giant tooth the size of a man's hand? Listen to what he says right here. The scientists had discovered a giant tooth the size of a man's hand. A thorough study confirmed the tooth did indeed belong to the ancient creature Megalodon. Oh, really? Uh, Mr. Riddle, uh, maybe you could provide us with a few names? You know, a couple of facts that we can confirm other than just making this blanket allegation that there was a tooth found? I mean, you know, we're open for business seven days a week, so all you gotta do is send it over, and if we can confirm it, we will give you a public apology. But somehow, I don't think you'll do that because I've heard rumors that Mr. Riddle likes to stay home and play with his fiddle. You know what I mean. All right, well, that's all the time I have for that riddle of a video. I'm gonna be giving you the answer to that guy boxing a bottle in just a second, but before we do that, I just wanna send out a big thanks to all you guys who send in all those crazy videos and photos I see every week. And hey, don't forget, if you got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because the only thing that's gonna do is drag me to the bottom of the Mariana Trench and make me go completely crazy! See you next time. Now, about that video claiming to show a boxer spinning a bottle around in midair like a mini plastic punching bag. That video, as it turns out, is real. That nifty little parlor trick is one of the trademark moves of British pro boxer named Amir Khan.